Hi, I am David Gandhi, and this is how I live with style. So this is the garage of the house I built over the last two years. I live here with my two, two daughters, five and two, Matilda and Tabs, and uh, my other half, Stephanie. I suppose this was uh, the, the room uh, with all my passions in my mind. I'm a passionate uh, car collector and restorer. I don't restore it myself. I wouldn't drive anything I restored. But um, I suppose the, the passions of the past as well. Everything from the, the Powerboat Racing Records to the Flying of Spitfires. This is what I, I always say, sort of fashion pays for the passion and the passion has uh, over the years been some quite exciting stuff. This is my first ever uh, Mille Mille, which we uh, completed with Yasmin Le Bon, which is a thousand mile race in Italy. I always wanted to build a car for that race and this was the car we built. It's a 1954 XK120. Up there we have the engineers, um, they worked on the car, 2,800 uh, hours working on the car. Yeah, it's all kind of supposed to, to do with uh, you know, the racing that I love to do. I used to do more until the two girls came along. But they love being in the car. You know, they say to me every evening after dinner, they say, Daddy, let's go in the broom broom and we all jump in here together. And then they bring their friends in here as well. So it's just a very expensive playground at the moment, um, but I do get to go out in it now and again. This is Larry King. He's um, in, well, the, one of the best men's hair stylists in the world. I've been doing my hair for 20 years. This was a moment in LA, and we used to have such amazing trips together. We've traveled the world together. It's still probably out of, I've got some great photography in the house. That's probably my favorite photograph. I love design. I love textures, I love fabrics. Envisioning something in your head and seeing it come to, um, come to life, and that's what I did with the house over two years. And it, it takes a, quite a bit of vision to do that, but hopefully, as you'll see, it's um, probably even a little bit better than I thought. So the other part of um, <laughs> my side of the house, should I say, is my, is my home gym. Um, working out training has been part of my life for uh, probably 25 years now, and I train five times a week. So um, I've always dreamt about having a house where I could have a small gym, but substantial gym. I would say I'm training on my own, but again, my children seem to follow me in there. So uh, again, no peace and quiet for, for dad. The kitchen, the main part of the house, I suppose, where we spend all our time, really. I didn't quite know what I wanted. And this is where I called upon Bakehouse. I didn't want the typical island with the four chairs and the lights above it. <laughs> so we came up with probably about 20 different designs and then I realized that that was the best way of, um, uh, it was gonna work in this area. The paneling is a feature throughout the house. So when you walk into um, the kitchen, the cupboards without any cupboard doors blend into the rest of the house as a, as a flowing design. And then you have all this sort of the workspace and the cupboards on, on this side. I saw a fridge in my teenage years, when I was uh, early teens, I didn't know what Sub-Zero was, but I knew I had to have one. Many, many years later, I finally got my Sub-Zero. We built a, a working pantry. So a lot of the mess, a lot of the washing and everything is put in here to keep, uh, trying to keep a tidier space. Worktops, we worked with a company called Neoleith, and uh, so far they've lived up to their name. They're a porcelain, but look like marble, feel like marble, um, but they're indestructible. The biggest surprise, and I'll show you, was that um, one of the trades pulled me aside one day and they'd somehow found this. It's a time capsule from 1965. So we did a bit of research, and someone told me that Nigel Planer who's an English actor who was in The Young Ones, um, lived here. So I contacted him and said, I hope you don't think I'm a mad person, but we found a, um, a time capsule. And um, he said, that is actually from me and my brothers. Three brothers who lived here in the 1960s and 70s. Um, and they actually came to visit the house. They said, can we visit? So he visited with his, with his brothers and told us the history of the house. Um, one of his brothers married um, Jane Seymour. The reception of the wedding was at this house, so we, le we started learning even more about the history of it. Yeah, that was lovely to find. We've bought another time capsule so that 
My girls can write a letter and we can then bury that in the garden and you never know who's going to find that in, um, I don't know, 50, 60, you never know, 100 years' time. We wanted a, a total living space for all of us to, to um, spend most of our time in here. Always have inspirations of books. I need inspiration for when I'm sort of coming up with ideas and creative design. I hate TVs on walls. It's a pet hate. I have a TV on the wall, but it's a, <laughs> but it's one of the, the, the thinnest TVs, and then you can have any bit of art on there. So now and again, it looks like it can look like art if you put it on there. The flooring. I love a herringbone design. We've got the archways of the the crittle. We bought in the crittle doors of the metal, and arches are a big feature within the house. So I wanted to keep as much of the historic element of the house available. So that is a bespoke design for, for the windows. So yes, this is the entertaining space, but um, let me show you, let me show you one of my favorite rooms, which is the drawing room. So the Drawing room, the room I come to every evening after dinner, especially in the winter, it's gorgeous with the open fire. The fireplace, that was um, from up in Yorkshire, he cast that especially for, for this room. It's probably my favorite room. And I suppose the standout feature here, the studio green. I always try and have a feature color. In my old houses, it was railings by Farrow and Board. The studio green wanted to bring the greenness from Richmond Park into, into the house and the greenness of, of the garden. Um, and the studio green uh, was the colour I decided, decided having a lot of spaces. The controversial area of painting the ceiling the same colour. Not many people do that, but I absolutely love that and people you know, tell me it really, really stands out and it's a lovely feature and I'm sure they will do the same. A lot of sort of bits I've bought, again, throughout the year, we've got the chest, uh, the old desk that we work from, the antique tea chest, which I've had for, I think this is the third or fourth house this has been in. And then this is an old carpenter's um, that's a workbench. It's a big unit, but it's very unique. And I always knew I'd have a house eventually that I could put this in. You see it's an old carpenter's bench bike because you used to put the screws on the outside to know which screw, obviously a very organized carpenter. But I've always loved that piece. The downstairs bathroom was where I think we dared to be even more adventurous. And we have the house of Hackney 360, including the ceiling of the wallpaper and it's a big forest scene. So again, we felt like we were bringing the elements of the outside to the interior. So it's a bit crazy. I absolutely love that room as well. That is the ground floor. So let me show you the, um, the first floor. So we come up to the, uh, the first floor of the house. This was probably the biggest major development of the house. Um, it's certainly what we had to get all the planning for, um, which ends up going to, uh, or taking the council to committee and winning that. So um, this from this onwards, none of this existed whatsoever of the two stories. So we recreated the window that was originally here. Um, so it was meant to look like it, so it originally stayed here. This is one of my favorite artists. I got this a few years ago, David Yarrow, and I ended up working with him. So um, we did a couple of projects together. And uh, he didn't know I actually already had some of his uh, some of his pictures. He's one of my favourite photographers. But it's a great feature. There's not many places you can actually have that picture and with the space for it. But um, Africa and the African plain is one of my favourite places to be. So that's um, I always knew that when we built this, that's where that picture had to go. We've got my uh, not my but my um, father-in-law and Stephanie's family crest, which um, her father had made into stained glass for us. I've still got to put that up, I must admit, I'm getting a bit lazy. And then we're heading into our new master, which we've built um, in the extension. We've created a bigger master in here. We took some space away from um, Tabitha's bathroom and uh, recreated our little dream shower. My other half is Greek, so she loves marble, she loves gold and then we used the loft room upstairs to then make it into like a little secret dressing area. So a very private dressing area. With Matilda's room, um, I, want, I didn't want just a, a plain square room. So we probably cut off a quarter of the room and we had Union Bespoke coming to make a very special children's seat 
in um, pink velvet. Uh, it's also contained like a dressing area, a table. I say for homework, it's more for makeup. Um, and it, it's just adding to the quirkiness and the character of the house, really. And that's what we've tried to do, create interesting spaces. I suppose some people now sort of call it upcycling, but I've just sort of collected antiques that I've liked throughout, uh, throughout the years. So as I said earlier, I don't particularly like um, TVs on walls. So um, I thought, what if I put it on an easel? The easel was originally from Longacre, but I got it in an antique shop in Wales and had it um, shipped over. Shipped over from Wales, or driven over, should I say. This is an antique bed. I bought at an antiques fair, absolutely love it. Okay, so let me take you up to um, what people call the turret. Everyone's intrigued by the turret, they call it the house with the turret, so um, we call it, the, it should be called a cupola. And um, so let me show you what we've done up there. So this is the, uh, the turret, or as people know it as the turret room, very unique, distinctive feature of the house. We use this as a working space. The main feature is, is, is the flooring, the hexian feature, which is very intricate to do. So the beauty of this room is obviously the 360 degree um, aspect of it, not only from the view of Richmond Park, but of, uh, you get the light, the beautiful light all throughout the day. It makes it very, very unique. Uh, you can see this better if I show you outside in the balcony, so uh, come this way. Well, guys, thank you for um, thank you for following me on the tour around my uh, my house. Um, it's been a pleasure having you. Um, I am off for a dog walk in Richmond Park, which is right behind me. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Time Style YouTube channel, and uh, see you again.